Hello everybody, um, recently I got a comment from someone named Shadow1089 uh, asking me how to make an animation of a character throwing things. And I thought, um, why not, because I enjoy making animations with Moon Animator. And I'm gonna go in depth into the throwing animation I made um, in the tutorial I did a while ago for Moon Animator. So anyways, let's get straight into it. So to make the animation of someone throwing something, you're gonna want two things. You're going to want a main avatar that you're going to make throw the object and then a dummy that's going to have an object welded to it. And I'll show you in a second why you want to weld an object to a, another dummy rather than your main avatar. So I'm going to do that real quick. But first, let me show you how you can weld something to a character. So when you install Moon Animator, you should have Easy Weld come with it. As you can see, it's under Moon Animator 2. So just open up Easy Weld. So what you gotta do is, you gotta go to cleaner, you gotta click on the flashlight and you just press clean. What that does is, it cleans it up, uh, turns it from a tool into a model, and as you can see we have something called handle here. So now you wanna go to parts, and first click the body part of the character that you want it to be welded to, I'm just gonna choose right arm. And then you're gonna go to this flashlight's handle, hold control and left click it, and then press join. And if it teleports to the hand like that, then that means it has worked. Now what you have to do is, you have to take the flashlight and drag it into your character model, uh, the dummy model, and it should be welded. Now I'm going to go into Moon Animator and click on the dummy, and you do New Moon 2 File. As you can see, we have a new category under right arm named Handle. Whenever you use, uh, whenever you move this dummy's hand as you can see the flashlight also moves and you can also individually move the flashlight so that's how you weld something to a character now as i said before i don't recommend welding an object to a uh to your main character if you're going to make them throw something and the reason why is because every time your character's arm moves the handle also moves because it's linked to their hand so Here's the thing, you make them throw it, right? Uh, let me just try and make something really quickly here. So you you got it like that, right? You make them throw the object. But let's say you want their arm to go all the way down to have a full range of motion, right? But as you can see, the flashlight also moves. So what's gonna happen every single time you do that is the flashlight also moves where their arm is. And as you can see, it goes straight into the ground. In welding an object to your main character in your scene is just going to make everything way more difficult than it needs to be. So that's why I recommend using a secondary dummy. Uh, you can just put him under the map and hide him. And the flashlight will be welded to him instead. So you won't have to worry about the flashlight or object moving every single time you move your character's arm. Now this part might get a little bit choppy, but I'll edit the video to the best of my ability to make it as smooth and understandable as possible. But anyways, here we go. We're gonna make the animation now. Uh, hold on, let me just clean that up. You just press this plus and just press okay and their rig will be set. Um, if you wanna use the animation for a game or something, you can enable animation events, but I'm not gonna do that and I don't really know how to do that very well because I don't know how to script. Now, um, as you can see, we have both the characters. This is our dummy and this is my main character so make sure you double click rig on uh, both these characters once their positions are set uh, this is so that they'll be in place and they won't just float to the next position once you start animating uh, make sure this is here uh, in the beginning the timeline and drag your dummy underground because you don't want people to be seeing the dummy now grab this handle as you can see, it's the flashlight. Just drag it up right here. And we're going to try and fit it into his hand. If you want to rotate it, press R. And as you can see, you can rotate it in any way you want, X, Y, and Z. And we're going to drag it into his hand like so. And as you can see, he is now holding the flashlight. So once their positions are set, remember to double click on rig for both models. So now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of delay here. I'm gonna go to the 10 keyframes mark 
and I'm gonna double click rig again just so that there's a bit of delay for when the animation starts so that it just doesn't zoom right in. Alright, now I'm gonna press A. I'm just gonna uh, increase the timeline size, give myself as much time as possible so I don't run out. I'm gonna turn loop off. Alright, so we got 10 keyframes before the animation starts. Now I'm gonna try 5 keyframes and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make his arm slowly rise up like this. So as you can see the flashlight doesn't follow him. So you're gonna have to manually move the flashlight. But it's gonna be much easier because the flashlight doesn't float around wherever his arm is. So let's check that out. Um, as you can see it's a little bit too fast so if it's too fast just go to each thing on the timeline. Uh, each keyframe you set. Just drag it and drag it to the right as you can see it looks a little bit more smooth 10 keyframes in it looks pretty good uh, let's do another 10 keyframes maybe I'm gonna double click the rigs again just so that in case I move any other body part it doesn't float uh, for example let me show you what happens if you don't do that as you can see because there's no pause here it thinks his leg is just gonna start moving immediately. That's why you add pauses in between movements. So that it doesn't just float to the next position. And it instead transitions smoothly. So make sure you set the keyframes every time you're done moving your character. Now I'm about to go about another 10 keyframes. And I'm gonna raise his arm. I'm not gonna make this animation super fancy or anything like that. Okay, like so. Make sure you check it from every single angle. Make sure it's in his hand correctly. You don't want it to be floating in his hand. Or out of his hand, actually. So, always double check the way it moves. Um, you know what, maybe, maybe smaller movements is better. Or a smaller amount of movement, because it thinks it wants to float up. Rather than f going up to the side with his hand. So, I'll just make the movement a little bit smaller as you can see it looks smoother now so yeah don't do movements that are too big or else it'll just glide to the wrong position all right now we're gonna go up a bit more i'm gonna see how this goes uh hold on let me set the keyframes here all right and we're gonna rotate it just like so And remember, I'm not a pro animator or anything, so this might look bad, but uh, it's just a simple tutorial on how to make welding and throwing animation. So as you can see, it looks decent right now. And once it gets to the peak, I want him to like slow down a little bit, like charge up his throw almost. And I'm going to try and bend his arm back a little bit too. And rotate flashlight. And let's see. Alright, it's in his hand pretty perfectly. So I'm just going to check it again. As you can see, it doesn't look weird or irregular. You should definitely check every single time you're done to see if it looks weird. Or if anything stands out too much. And set the keyframes. So, so far we have this. Uh, you can press Ctrl and H at the same time to hide the HUD and watch the animation. Uh, obviously, if you're doing an actual animation, you'd want to move like every body part, make it look more detailed. Uh, I'm gonna have him charge it up a little bit more. So yeah, I want it to look a little bit more detailed, so I'll be doing that. Uh, let's see, I haven't moved the flashlight at all. I'm gonna try and move his torsos. This is upper torso. Um, the lower torso for an R50 model will move the entire thing. Now we're gonna drag this back all right I think he's ready to throw now we're gonna have I'm gonna go five keyframes in instead of ten to make it faster like really have energy behind that throw all right again not too much or else it'll float through the position you want it to go through instead of going up angle like this it'll just go straight to his hand and it'll just like float through his hand and that'll look really weird. Uh, 
Um, you know what? Before this, I'm gonna take these and drag them forward a bit. Um, if it'll let me. Alright, drag it to the 80 mark. Now, I'm gonna, if you wanna copy and paste things, you can drag all of them. Like that. Control C, Control V. And it'll paste. And now we can get to work here. Uh, I'm gonna move these frames a little bit back so that's faster you know shorten the amount of time that's in between the frames so that's about four keyframes so I'll do the same here now I'll extend his arm and I think it looks okay actually the best thing to do is to really play back your animation a lot see if anything looks weird or off and make adjustments as you go. Whoops, that's his face. There we go. And now we have it here. So let's move the flashlight uh, down a little bit. Whoops. Alright, that's a little bit too much. Alright, we're gonna go like five frames now. Uh, I'll do the flashlight first this time instead. Now we want it to be close to the ground. And our character is like... Taking the momentum from the throw. Alright, it's starting to look solid, I think. So yeah, just keep... Um, Playing it back, you know. See if you're missing any movements. If something looks off, like the flashlight doesn't move a lot, make the flashlight move more fluid, uh, more fluidly with the character. If that makes any sense. Um, also, there's another thing you can use too. Uh, so I'm gonna drag all these, and I'm gonna show you something. Press seven once you select all of them. As you can see, you got animation styles. Um, I'm gonna press. Let's see. let's just do bounce because bounce is really exaggerated and you'll see the effects of it a lot. Yeah, as you can see, he does a little bounce there. I don't really like it though. I'm going to pick like maybe circular. So it's going to once you select the thing that's behind it, it affects the frames in front of it. As you can see, it made him wind up and kind of like move much more smoothly. So I recommend that too. And now I'm gonna go like, let's see, I mean six frames should be good. All right, now we're gonna move the flashlight down a bit more. Uh, forward a bit more. As you can see, playing it back can really show you if it looks weird or not. And I'm gonna move my character a little bit too, you know, add a bit more detail. I don't want it to look super ugly like super lazy you know I want it to look a little bit nice all right there we go so now uh, I'm gonna try and make this tutorial faster because I don't want it to be like an hour long but animation takes time and we're gonna move the flashlight a bit more that's two down that's two up Okay, it needs more rotation, I think. As you can see here, I can move my character as freely as I want to without being worried about if the flashlight's gonna move or not since it's not welded, welded to his hand. And that just makes everything so much more free and easier. Uh, I'm gonna move my character a little bit later. Or maybe even later than that. And I'm gonna select this, make it circular, circular, I believe. Oh, wait, no, not that one. I'm gonna select the ones before it. Seven, circular. Okay, let's see how that looks. As you can see, he's like kind of recoiling from it because of the circular motion. 
Okay, let's see how many frames that is. Let's rotate it a bit more, make it hit the ground now. I think we're at that stage. Okay, that's way too much. Maybe a little bit more. And now I'm gonna stop working on the character back here. And I'm just gonna worry about the flashlight. So now let's see if I'm gonna make it like kind of drag on the ground and kind of raise upwards like that. And here we go. So we're at 128, 135. I'm gonna make it go up a little bit more. Whoops. Oh yeah, if you rotate it, it'll change what where it's gonna drag to. And let's go a little bit more. Uh, I want to rotate it a little bit more, make it look like it's got a lot of force behind it. And then have it come back down near the end of its slide. Like this. Uh, maybe a little bit less to imply that like it's stopping Make sure it's on the ground too So yeah, this is gonna be heavily edited for sure. I don't want it to get too long and boring okay. And we're gonna have it stop shortly after like right here, maybe Okay, that's way too much So yeah, all right, now let's watch it. As you can see, that's how you make a throwing animation. At the end, I just made it slide on the uh, ground by rotating a bit. So yeah, this is like really simple animation. Like I just made this in, let me see. It took me like 20 minutes um, just to make this simple animation. So yeah, it doesn't look pretty or anything, but that's how you make a basic animation of a character throwing something. As you can see, the physics look decent, and it's inside of his hand the whole time, not floating. Um, and the flashlight collides with the ground, and it slides like that. So yeah, make sure to add like actual physical properties to your objects, like make them bounce once they hit the ground, if they have a lot of force, instead of them just like sliding only. It'll look a lot more realistic. That's how to make a short throwing animation. Uh, you can use this if you want to in bigger projects or something, or if you just want to make a simple test animation of someone throwing something. This is pretty much how you do it. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out. I hope it was informative, and I wish you luck on your animations. And I hope you become great at animating, and it comes with a lot of time and practice. I know that myself because I suck at it and I haven't done it much and I'm planning to do it more. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, hope this helped, and see you guys next time. Peace out.